Hey crafters, Lisa here with Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. If this is the first time you stop by my channel, thanks so much. And don't forget to subscribe. Click on the little bell and YouTube will alert you each time I upload a new video. So let's get started on today's Inspiration Friday project, coloring with our Cricut. So it's so fun to look at all the different designs in design space and figure out which ones I want to print out and color and make some of these beautiful cards. So let's get started and I'll join you in design space. So did you know that you can color with your Cricut? Well, not actually color, but you can create designs that you can color. And I don't know about you guys, but lately with all the stress going on, coloring just really calms me. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to make this um, pattern available to you. I put it together and I made it um, so that it is an item that you guys can color. And I want to show you how I did it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of coloring together. The fun part about this project is I'm going to give you a card and a matching envelope. Now you can resize this and make this any size you would like. What I've got here is I've got the actual card that has got the flowers drawn right on the card. And then I've got the give thanks as a separate item. And that is one that you can color and then maybe use the foam pads to give some dimension to your card. So let's go ahead and get started. And I want to show you some tricks on sh turning any design into a color design. So I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm just going to click new. So what I like to do is I like to um, start with a design that is two layer. So let's go ahead and start with a sunflower. Um, I have lots of fun coloring flowers and they go so nice with um, different cards and stuff. So I've got a favorite one here. Let me see if I can find it really quick. There it is right there. See how that is a two-tone. So we're going to go ahead and put that on our page. And now you can see it's got two layers. It's got um, the cut layer, which is the darker orange, and then it's got that peach color, which is the background. Now, right now, this is set up to cut out each one individually. What we want to do is we want to make the, um, the make it so that we can draw it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the outline and we are going to change that to draw. Okay. So now you can see it's got the lines on how it's going to draw. Now one thing I also like to do, um, and this is just my preference, I like to turn my background to white also. So if you go ahead and just change that to white. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to attach these. If I did not make it right now, it would do one draw and one cut out. But we actually want to draw and then cut out. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So here is what it looks like. Okay, so it's just going to be one and you can see that um, it is going to draw it and then it's going to cut it out. So this is a really fun to be able to make. Now I would suggest that you look at the size of it. Um, if you're making like a five by seven card or a little um, um, four by five card. So really look at your size. So let's try another one. Let's try another image. There's so many different ones you guys can do. Um, and you don't have to stick with flowers. Um, another fun, um, fun one to do is um, say you've got a birthday, right? And you want to add something and you want to add a little bit of punch to the card. So what I like to do again is I like to find something that is um, layered. So I'm going to go down here. Let's see if we can find one. I had one earlier. Um, and there we go. How about that happy birthday right there? See how it's two layers. Okay. So we bring it over here, make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. I'm going to grab that teal color first and I'm going to turn it to draw. Okay. And you can see now 
that um, it has turned to, it's kind of hard to see because the other one is that way too. So let's go ahead and grab that one, second one, and turn it to a draw. Okay. And then you've got the area that's going to be cut out. Okay. So now what we want to do is grab those all together and we're going to attach them. And we could even change our background to a white, like I was saying earlier. And then you're ready to go. Okay, so lots of things that you can do um, with those. So let's pop back over. Let's go ahead and save this project. Um, and so I just go up and um, you can just do coloring um, as my project. Let's go back over to the one that I'm going to put out there on Design Space for you guys. Um, excuse me, that I'm going to make available to you guys. Um, and take a look at it again and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print it out for you guys and we're going to do a little bit of coloring and I'll show you a couple of the techniques that I have for blending some of my colors. So remember again I've got I actually put the design right on the card here and then I've got the give thanks. So let's see what that looks like when I go to my make it. Okay so here's my give thanks. I attach that right and then my next one is I cut out a card and then I'm actually going to put the flowers right on it. And then the third cut is going to be the envelope and the fourth cut is going to be the card with the, um, the fold line in there. So I'm hoping this, this is all making sense. It's lots of fun, fun what you can do with coloring um, with your Cricut. And so I'm going to show you all kinds of examples of different ones that I have done. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get this one printing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put a black pen in my maker. And I'm going to put my fine point blade. And we're going to do this cut first. And then the next cut. I'm going to put my black pen and a fine point blade and we'll do that and then I'll meet you back here and we'll do a little bit of coloring. So before we get started coloring, I thought I'd show you some of the examples of what I've done with the Cricut so far and have colored. So here's an example of a card. Um, just the cards I picked up at um, Michael's. Um, so it just has the polka dots on it already. And then I've used the um, little um, cushion pads um, to give it a little bit of texture here. Um, and so just cute sunflowers. And then I did the sunshine and I cut out around it. Here's an example of, remember how I told you that, that two layer. So I did the draw with the love and then I had it cut it out. So another example. Here's one where I actually put the drawing on the card and then I just colored on the card. This one I think is really pretty. Very simple. It's just um, a flower. Again, it's the two layers. So I drew, I had the Cricut draw, draw the one layer and then I cut out the top layer. Um, you can see I like sunflowers. Here's another one that I did with the sunflower. Um, this one's a really cute one that I can add to a card. Um, got lots of little sunflowers here. Here's another example of one I did. Here's another hello love. Um, and this I was just playing with some blending. I've got some glitter pins, so that was fun. Here's one that was a little bit more um, complex. Lots of stampers have stamps, so I was trying to do it without the stamps. So that is all the Cricut drew the whole design and then I colored. Here's another one of the um, sunflowers. Um, just so much fun doing it. Here's an example of the give thanks um, that we're going to do. I did this one in more of the pinks. Um, and here's the matching envelope. Um, and so I'm going to put that one off to the side because that's like one that we're going to be doing. Um, and I will show you the one that I made up for us to work on today. So I got to get that going the right way. So for today, what I did is I decided to go with an orange theme. So what I have is this is what the envelope looks like um, before you have um, folded it up. 
and then here is the card. So I'm going to set those off to the side right now, and then I want to show you what we ended up with. So this is the card, and then I had the Cricut Draw on it, and then this is the Give Thanks, and remember it was the two layers, so the one layer we drew and the second layer we cut out. So um, didn't have to do that second layer like that, but it, I would have done a lot of work cutting. And I kind of like the look of, kind of like I did with this one, it looks like it's more of a stamp. Um, so just so much fun um, working with that. So what I like to do is I like to pick out my colors that I'm going to be working with. And today I've picked out some greens. Now I've got Spectre Neuro um, pens and they are a watercolor pen. And so that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, to do the coloring and I did print this on watercolor paper I find that that is the best way to do um, your coloring um, is a watercolor paper and I just buy a pad I picked up a pad at Walmart of the watercolor paper um, and so I've just been using that so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll probably fast forward through this but I just want to show you um, kind of what how I put together um, my um, coloring and do some of my shading um, for my um, designs. So we'll just, I'll put on some music here and we'll do a little bit of coloring. So you can see that I have got my give thanks done and every you know you can do it all different ways you can see that I wasn't necessarily staying in the lines and I did a little bit of shading but I thought that would be really pretty to put that right on the card like that so let me grab some of my little so these are what I was talking about being able to give it some dimensions so they are the, um, the foam, foam adhesive um, squares, and so I just like using them. So I'm just going to put two of those. Actually, we'll probably put three on just to make sure it's stuck on real well. But I'll tell you guys, I love to print up a bunch of things that I can color, and then I just have it on hand. And it is fun to do um, when I'm watching TV. I can sit and I can watch TV um, and I can color. So let's go ahead and fold the card. So remember we have the card all cut out. And so I'm just going to fold that. And it already had the crease in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to grab some of my just um, tape, put it on the back. And these cards go really quickly together. And I'm going to put that right on there. Okay, so we've got that all done. How cute is that? And then what we want to do is we want to fold our envelope. Now, the scoring's already been done for the envelope for you too. And remember, if this card is too big, you can resize it. I definitely recommend that you resize the card and the envelope at the same time so you don't um, get it out of proportion. And see how cute that is. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape right down here. And I'm going to trim that card up just a little bit. See that it's hanging over just a little bit more than I wanted it to. I'd like my orange to show a little bit more, so. Okay, 
So how cute is that? We've got our card all done, we've got our envelope all done, it fits right in, and it is ready to be mailed. So what do you guys think? Coloring with your Cricut. So many cute ideas that you can do, and um, I love my Spectrum Your um, pens, do a lot of shading with that, and you guys can see as I was doing um, my coloring, um, I was not worried about staying necessarily in the lines. So lots of fun things you can do. I suggest you cut out a whole bunch of stuff, have it ready, and then you've got all kinds of little projects you can do, put, um, put together birthday cards, um, thinking of you cards. What a great time with everybody going through so much stress right now with all the um, um, coronavirus stuff. Um, wouldn't it be fun to get a cute little card like that in the mail? You can write your cute little notes inside. For that matter, you could have your Cricut do the writing inside the card if you wanted to, too. So lots of fun things. So I'd love to see what you guys do with coloring with your Cricut. So please make sure you tag me um, when you do something. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday project showing you how you can use your Cricut to design items that you can color and make these beautiful cards. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments down below if you have any questions. And don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other inspirational videos and projects. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell and YouTube will alert you each time I upload a new video.